Hi, I'm Jo and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing the I Love Spring Tag. So I've got my daughter's flowery headband on because what screams more than scream spring more than flowers are headband. So um this tag was created by Helen Jessup and I will tag the original one in the comments below. I was tagged by Katie over at Kit Kats Can Read. I'll also um, put her video in the description below as well. So here goes with the I Love Spring tag. So number one, how is spring where you live? So here in the UK, um, spring can be a mixture of lovely sunshine with nice hot warm days or it can be pouring down with rain. Um, about a fortnight ago we even had snow um, and yesterday we even had thunderstorms so spring where I live is a mixture of everything <laughs> um, number two most anticipated book released this spring well to be honest I am completely out of the loop with upcoming releases um, I wouldn't have a clue what's coming out tomorrow, let alone what's coming out next month. Unless, you know, I'm, I've am followed somebody for a long time. So, like, some some authors that i followed for ages, which, you know, some of them I don't even know when they're coming out. Um, I, I might know when your book's coming out, when it's not, but I don't know any that are actually being released in the spring. Um, number three is show us a cover that makes you think of spring. So the cover I chose that makes me think of spring is this one, which is Jasmine Skies by Sita Bramachari. Oh my God, I bit butchered that, didn't I? So I, I got this book randomly out of like a mystery book box last year so um i ordered like a box of 20 young adult books from ebay 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 even my god can't talk and this was one of the books that came in it so it says myra levinson is bursting with excitement as she flies to india to stay with her aunt and cousin for the first time as soon as she lands myra is hurled into the sweltering heat and a place full of new sights sounds and deeply buried secrets from the moment Myra meets Janu, she feels an instant connection. He becomes her guide, showing her both the beauty and chaos of Kolkata. Nothing is as she imagined it, and suddenly home feels a long way away. Hmm. But no, the reason why it made me think of spring was like the flowers and stuff around the edge, and it's even got around the edge on the back. That's what made me think of spring, and like it's an orange colour, so... Number four is find a cover with the sun on it. So the book I chose for this one with the sun on it is Out of Heart because that looks like a sun. <laughs> so this is Out of Heart by I Ifan Ifan Irfan Irfan Master Irfan Master I think it is. And this is donating your heart is the most precious gift of all. Adam feels the weight of the world upon his shoulders. His sister no longer speaks. His mum works two jobs. Then his grandfather dies and donates a very special gift, his heart. William is the recipient. He has no family and feels rootless and alone. In fact, he feels no particular reason to live. And then he meets Adam's family. William has received much, but it appears that he has much to offer Adam and his family too. So that's a nice heartfelt book isn't it but yeah I only picked it because the actual title and the front of it looks like a sun okay number five where are you going to read this spring so the places I'm going to read this spring is going to be my normal places to read which will be on my sofa here in my bed upstairs um maybe in the car when we're traveling because I don't drive my mum does um maybe in the garden when the weather's nice and the kids are playing outside i might sit in the garden and read and maybe in the break room at work which are all my normal places to read 
Um, number six, what are your favourite spring reads? So I really don't have any reads that are I like to read specific for that month. Like many people, like they like cold, wintry reads in the winter. You know, they like spooky reads in, in October for Halloween. I I don't really have any of that. I will read anything anytime. So unfortunately, I will just be reading my normal stuff. Um, number seven is find a book with many different colours on it. So looking all over my shelves and the, the book, the only book I could find with many colours on it was The Princess Diaries by Meg Cabot. Um, I'm sure you probably all know The Princess Diaries because ooh, I can't remember. There was a film, a Disney film. It got Julie Andrews. I want to say Anne Hathaway, but I could be wrong. Right, but I'll read it anyway. So it says, one minute Maya's totally normal. Next minute she's the heir to the throne of Genova Genovia. Well, her dad can lecture her until he's royal blue in the face, but no way is Maya going to behave like some posh princess. And they think she's moving to Genovia? Uh, no. So, and that's The Princess Diaries. It's the only one I got. I also got it in that um, random box of YA books off eBay, like I did with Jasmine Skies. So I've only got the first book. I've never read it. I might do, but it's on my shelf. And the last but not least question is, whom do you tag? So I haven't got anybody in particular that I want to tag to do this book tag. But if you want to take part in this book tag, go ahead. You can. I will, as I said, I will link the original creator. I'll link the person that tagged me. And I will also put a list of the questions in the description box below. And if you do make your own video doing this tag and you want to say that I tagged you, you can just drop me a comment to say um, I'm doing this and I've said you tagged me. And then I can add you and your video into the description below. So that's it for today. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the content I create, please subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video from me again, please hit the notification bell. And until I see you all next time, bye guys.